Bam. Put the boom on it. What's up, everybody? This is Delta Tango Mike, and we are back with another stream. It is a little bit after 8 o'clock. It's a little bit, a lot of bit of after 8 o'clock. <laughs> but we're here, and we're going to be drawing on Fresco with Adobe Fresco on the iPad. I got the iPad all set up and ready to go. It's right here. It's a... Uh, you can't see it, but it's right here. Trust me. And then I got my fancy pencil. Look at that. It looks like a real pencil almost. But we're back. We're ready to get started on some drawings. And uh, we've already started the conversation. We have um, Golden Rose and Bree on the Discord channel hanging out. And welcome all of you back to Behance. And there it is. Ali, what's up? What's up? It's not going to subscribers only. Today is... Uh, uh, free um, today's an open stream to all so open stream is today <clears throat> thank you for checking yes good job for uh, for stopping by and hanging out with us all right so let's go ahead and turn on the screen for the iPad this is my iPad yep yep this is it got my pencil ready and we were just talking to Bree about her new iPad and uh, and Golden Rose says uh, you got a cool um, uh, keyboard uh, case for your iPad. Is that what's going on with you? And yeah, mm -hmm. I got the, I got, <laughs> I was so excited. I bought two different like covers. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I bought one that was just, that's my fancy one. You know, if I'm going to be out, you know, and about and it's girly. <laughs> and then I have my working one, which is what I use pretty much all the time. But that that's the one that has the keyboard to it. Mm -hmm. And the keyboard is cool. Like I was I was concerned because I was like, oh, this is hmm. I think I paid like thirty some dollars for it. Mm -hmm. And which is definitely not the magic keyboard mm -hmm. setup. And so I got the keyboard and I also bought a Bluetooth um, mouse for cheap. Mm -hmm. And both of them are hanging in there. I'm not disappointed. Uh, the mouse really does come in handy, even on an iPad. So, yay. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> And when do you reach for the mouse? Like, what is it that you're doing at that moment that you're like, eh, let me grab this mouse? Browsing. Okay. Because, I mean, it's like, you know how when you're touching your iPad all the time, you're touching the screen, mm -hmm. and it gets all the fingerprints and, and everything. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's like usually browsing, or if I'm doing something – that like typing an email or um even sometimes if um, when i'm in the app it's just because i'm used to grabbing a mouse anyway it's mm -hmm. there i right. have invested in my whole setup <laughs> for it to work for you 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 sometimes you do have to do that you have to yeah. invest so that you can get comfortable and get the things that you need to work for you yes yes Mm -hmm. very cool and so so you have a case that's for hanging out like like when you're on the street <laughs> yeah you know it's cute and it goes with your outfit <laughs> yeah you know it has mm -hmm. flowers on it mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh so yeah it's something that's you know attractive right 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 and um instead of just like looking like a workhorse <laughs> right yes because that's what's going to happen anyways right as time goes on it is going to wear out the the uh the cool looking pleather is gonna uh wear out a little bit and so you're gonna start seeing little wear and tear uh, uh yeah i i don't keep mine in the case un unless i'm walking out the house and then sometimes uh i i do have a smaller ipad sometimes i carry it without a case and uh just because i like the simplicity of it and um um uh, but uh my main ipad this big one right here oh this one has to, if i'm walking out the house it has to be in the case you know 
Accidents happen. Yeah, I, w- I wouldn't want to risk it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is my, this is, um, at first I wasn't sure, like, how much I would be using the iPad. Mm-hmm. But I use it a lot more, like, it, it has really made a huge difference. Like, if I'm watching, say, for instance, a tutorial on YouTube, mm-hmm. I can have that on the iPad and use my laptop, and I don't have to worry about um, jamming up my system, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, with trying to do all the things on my laptop. Um, mm-hmm. I can follow along, or, you know, I can just do things along with um, the, you know, whatever it is that I'm watching. Or I can just have entertainment on while I'm working. Yep. Yep. It's the second screen. It's that, they call that the second screen. Sometimes you just need a little backup. Yeah. Uh Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh Because at first I was using my phone. Mm -hmm. And yeah, your phone is small. Yeah. And you're trying to see all of the things on your phone and your phone screen is small. So, oh, man, this is <laughs> game changer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think that's how Bree's going to feel as time goes on, Bree. Bree, you're going to start adding, getting the accessories that makes your life easier, but also you eventually replace what you can do on the MacBook and, uh, and do it all on the iPad once you get the right keyboard the right mouse or all the accessories that you need yep yep that's guaranteed that's how it goes that's how it goes oh yeah, that's awesome that's awesome uh yeah i i uh, i like um you know just having a second device that like you said it doesn't jam up your main device so that you can still continue doing the work that you need to do uh but you can look up something that you need right away or reference something and bam, just goes hop on into the next device. Oh yes, and there goes uh, Gareth. I'm sorry, hold on. Uh, Gareth did say uh, I couldn't resist and purchase an iPad Mini six as it is now supports the Apple Pencil too. It will come in handy when I have to wait around at appointments. Yes, and then uh, and then Golden Rose says now you can leave your wife's iPad alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. Go ahead, uh, Bree. I think you were going to say something. No, the reason why I didn't get an iPad is because so far it has protected my phone. Mm-hmm. And I dropped because of the, the muscle spasm and stuff. I dropped mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. It didn't so cost too much to drop. Yeah, yeah. It's not cheap. And, uh, and the last thing you need is um not having that device because of an accident you know yeah forget that you got to protect your devices um you know my daughter and she wears um a uh a rubber silicon um uh thing around her neck and the phone hangs from it and uh and the phone is encased and 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 uh, it has a case and all of it is one piece so that's something to look into um, if you uh, want to um, uh, have something that's safe and uh, going to protect it. But also, like, if you let go, it, it still hangs off of you, you know. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, kind of like Before the way we cameras. Tonight. Tonight. I'm changing the subject. Okay. <laughs> Tonight we're drawing uh, Scully's. We're drawing Scully's right now. Scully's is what we do because uh, I have a long list of Scully's to draw. And so this Scully, I don't know if anybody knows who this is, this character. Um, but uh, it's uh, his. this character's name is Grendel. And uh, it's a comic book character. Anybody familiar with Grendel? Say so. Cool, cool, cool. I can't say that I am. No? All right. So Grendel is a cool dude. And uh and so it's a um it's a it's a comic book series created by Matt Wagner and uh and it was uh independent publisher and I think it's part of Dark Horse now. 
Uh, yes. Uh huh. And so, so Grendel is this mythical creature from the myths, and uh, and so it's kind of it has nothing to do with that. It just has the same name. So Grendel is a mask identity of Hunter Rose, a successful author. And as Grendel, he worked as an assassin before taking control of New York City's organized crime. So he's a human person, uh, just very um, wealthy and kind of like Batman, but on the evil side, I think. And uh, Batman. Batman, I'm Batman. <laughs> and so when you look up uh, Grendel, he has this very, um, let me see if I can just pull it up, pull up something so I can show you guys. Grendel, here we go. Grendel comic. And so, as a as a character, it wasn't very it did not it did not uh, it was not attractive to me because he's like a sophisticated uh, person, and uh, and so until um, this artist started drawing him, and this artist's name is Simon Bisley, and Simon Bisley, oh my goodness, his art style. Oh, where where did it go? Let's click on that. See what happens. Oh, it's just the cover that's not going to show us the picture. There it is. So this is how Simon Bisley draws and paints. Simon Bisley is one of those artists who likes to draw comic book looking art, but with the realistic uh, fine art technique. And so, of course, it's still it's not a Michelangelo painting or whoever paints back in the Renaissance, but or even Alex Ross, because Alex Ross and uh, who is that? Boris Vallejo. They paint uh, in Frazetta to an extent. He's still more comic. They paint paintings of comic characters. But uh, right. but uh, yes, but Simon Bisley, he does paint, but his art style is very comic and uh, stylized. And that's what attracted me to um, comics to in well that. The, his, the, the comic art style is what attracted me to comics, but the rendering is what uh, opened my eyes to like, you know, there's different art styles that we can explore here. And so it can be re realistic while still being comic. And so as um, and so as you get deeper into Grendel, the character, then uh, later there was this other Grendel, Grendel Prime. And so it's in the future and so on. And there's uh, that's the actual Grendel Prime right there. Let's see if we can click on it. Boom. And so he is hardcore. This one's the machine. This one's a machine. It's not a human person. And uh, and so once you start reading the stories, it really gets to really cool and deep. Let me see what's happening here. There we go. Bam. Yeah. There it is. When you Grendel popped Prime. the first one up, Bars was the first one I thought about. When you when I popped the first one. You say what? First picture up of, of Grendel. Mm hmm I said, oh, that looks like Venom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the similar. Yep. And uh, and the eyes are very similar. As you can see, um, it's got the the um kind of like the Spider Man looking eyes almost. Um yeah, uh, but, and that you know. smile. Mm -hmm. But there's no smile. <laughs> And uh, oh, there it is right there. If we can just make it look good. There it is. And so, uh, so any case, uh, this one does like, has a doc, uh, Dr. Freeze uh, type of head, right? It's, uh, it's got that, right. um, the, the, uh, the helmet or um, whatever you call that in K a vase to, to shield his head. And so any case, man, um, I got a lot of their books. I got a lot of these books, and uh, and that's just a cool character I always liked. And so when it was time to draw something today, I was actually uh, waiting on a meeting, and uh, and I said, you know what? I'm going to draw um, Grendel. That's going to be my Grendel for today. Yes, Golden Rose. So much detail. Yep, it is uh, a lot of detail of what I'm going in on it, but I'm keeping the main Grendel. That's who I'm drawing right now, the main Grendel. Um, I doubt that I'll go in and draw the Grendel Prime. Um, but there was a quote. Oh, and then uh, and this popped up also today that there's going to be a Netflix show for Grendel. So 
a lot of people are super excited about that because you have not seen Grendel go mainstream before. And so uh, for those of us who know who Grendel is, we're kind of excited about that. Um, and they got an action figure. Yeah, he's got action figures. Um, 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 uh, what do you call them? Um, statues and stuff. And, uh, and, and then his weapon is, uh, is this double bladed, um, weapon. And so what he does is, uh, he sticks people with it and then twists and turns it. So, and then, and then pulls it out and it leaves a hole. It's crazy. This is, this whole comic is crazy. So yeah, it's uh it's really cool. It's a cool character. Yeah, that's just crazy looking right there. That does look like uh like Venom to an extent. Mm-hmm. See his smile? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not a smile, it's a it's a um it's a uh face mask, but yes, yes, it could be a smile. He's smiling, he's smiling at you. Let's say that. Let me see if I can add it. There you go. Say I, I was hoping they would do a Venom too. Because mm-hmm. Venom 1 was off the chain. It was funny. Uh, the action movie? Yeah. 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 Uh, with, um, I forgot his name, but yeah. I like the actor. I just never got around to watching it because uh, I don't have all the streaming services. I have some of them. Oh, this is the War, War Child um, Grendel. That's what that is. And uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh, there, there's another painting by uh, Simon Bisley. Oh, man. Let me see. There it is. Simon Bisley can, can paint. This guy. This guy is insane. This is from 1992. Look at that. The signature right there. 1992. That's why you always got to sign your work. Sign your work. I don't even know what's going on with Simon Bisley. What's up with him? Is he even painting or anymore? There we go, Simon Bisley. Uh, Wikipedia. He has a website. Let me see what what people are saying about him. There he is. That's him right there. Uh, early life influences, biography, uh, comics, two thousand four, two thousand seven, the nineties, a lot of nineties. Two thousand. There it is. The last pages in twenty twenty, and then onslaught. Okay. And then uh, this is all all nineties right there, you know. I guess eventually you kind of slow down. You're like, yeah, that's a lot of drawings. Uh, he did Tekken Tech Tournament. That's crazy. Oh, he did the artwork for it, movie posters and books. Now, when you go through Amazon, his books are expensive, man. Like they they're not in print anymore, so um, so you can't even. Uh, I mean, I guess you could. I I can't spend it. I do have this book, the Bible. Uh, let me see. Le Art of Simon Bisley, 2010 calendar. And these are just old. There's the art, out of print, out of print. And uh, let's see. Uh, that's it. So let's click on one of these. Let's click on this one. The, the Biz, the intense art of Simon Bisley. The Biz, $200. Woo! Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. At you all. Yeah, that's that's all my budget right there. It's my whole budget, and uh, I don't even know how many pages it is. And it's from the year two thousand. Look at that. Yeah, this guy, this guy, his artwork is insane. So, anyways, um, that that's the character that I'm working on right now. I'm almost done with him, and uh, so I have to think about who's next. And I got a lot, a long list. Because I, w- I want to draw 144 Scullies. And so Odari's drawing some Scullies. Artist 53 is drawing some Scullies. Bree says she wants to draw a Scully. And so, uh, and so that's cool. And so at the end, I need to have 144 um, Scullies. So that's the plan right now. And, uh, and so we'll see. We'll see how far we can get with that. Uh, but I need to get it done because um, I'm trying to see where is that? Oh, uh, that's the collar. No, what is that? I can't tell what this uh, what this is. Oh, there is nothing there. Okay, got it. Um, 
Oh yeah, I know what that's gonna be. Damn. Uh, and so I want to have like this this series that I for uh, NFTs, and so that's uh, that's the plan right now, is to have all when, of these. When do you want to do your drop? So the first drop is going to be uh, in a week from now. Oh, is it a week? The twenty second. Whenever yeah. the twenty second yeah. is, that's that's next week already. Golly, that's fast. That next week already. Already, yo, already. It's uh, it's a Wednesday. It's a Wednesday for yeah, yeah. Next week, Wednesday, is the first drop. It's gonna be one NFT, only. And uh, and so I've been sharing these uh drawings already in scully series instagram and twitter but uh they, they're missing all the extra stuff so right now what you see is just uh the main drawing but it's gonna have a lot more detail and uh and so the first one that comes out it's gonna be um uh bob ross and so bob ross is first and uh and then next month on the 22nd october 22nd i'll drop another 23 and so once those 23 are out um uh, those that'll be a bunch of different ones and that'll be a very specific price for those all of these the the one that's uh the, the bob ross and the next 23 include a one-on-one -on -one class with me so if you want to learn anything about Illustrator, Photoshop, uh, drawing, digital drawing with Fresco, um, you get a one-on-one -on -one class. That's automatic. And then the last uh, 120, they will, they're, we're dropping them in November 22nd. So every month, the 22nd, you're going to see all the Scullies come out and the last ones in November. And that's it and that's it 144 and no more and uh the only thing you're gonna see is um uh anybody who wants to draw their own scully they can do that um based on the scully that they buy or anything that they want to do with the scully they get and uh so that's the plan so far that's the plan in mind we'll see how it goes And, uh, and so I have a few artists who are involved and that are uh, adding their own flavor to their own scullies. And uh, Artist 53 has done some scullies. And uh, Odari. Odari is nonstop scully drawing right now. He's crazy. He's, he's gone crazy. And, uh, and that's kind of cool. It's kind of fun. And that's what it's about. You know, it's about... Um, finding those happy moments, those moments that made you happy back in the day. And, uh, and then, uh, and having cool conversations with people while owning an NFT. So we'll see how, how far, how cool this experiment goes, you know? That's my idea. Feel free to chime in and give me some advice or, uh, suggestions whatever because um, i like how you you are are putting the shadows in right now <laughs> that's tight Squeaky thank you thank you line. that's <laughs> different yeah 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 i wanted to have uh a little bit of uh, a look to it there we go and uh just gotta try different things you know just uh, different techniques and see how, how it works out. How it works out. And uh, and I wish you could uh, break out your uh, iPad and start drawing with us next time. We'll get you next time. Next time. Yeah. Next time. Maybe tomorrow uh, since uh, Tamika will be uh, streaming tomorrow evening. Oh, yeah. Poses tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I picked up a few people watching TV like Lena Horn. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Louis Armstrong Satchmo. Okay. And I said, oh, these will be good to do poses on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah, and it's and it's really what's cool about it is part of it is because you know who they are, but the other part is that it's uh is your it's open to your interpretation. You know, you want to see right. what they would look like if you were to draw them. That's how I always felt about comics. It's like I see the drawing, I see Batman, I see Grendel or any other character, the Wolverine, Punisher, the Punisher, I was a big Punisher fan. And uh, and it's like, hmm, what would that look like if I was to draw it? You know, what would I do to the drawing this way? Would I do that line this way, that way? Um, and that's it, you know. It's the experimentation, is uh, the trial and error, and then seeing your drawing come to life and like, whoa, all right. So there we go. We got Grendel. Oh, so I got to draw the, the weapon. I'm going to have to do the weapon. And, uh, and that's what I, and that's how I feel about the Scully's like, okay, that's cool. That's a good idea. I wonder what it would look like drawn in my style. And before I go on, let me turn this off and I can show you. Boom. The blues brothers. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, I did one of them. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let me turn on something that we can see. There you go. This, the neck is different because I try to make it a little chunky. Right <laughs> so, uh, this, I, well, I try to do um, John Belushi, but uh, it didn't matter because without the the fat or the face, you really it could be one or the other. The hair is the same, everything's the same. So you know, but I did try to thicken out the neck to make it a little chunky, but uh, right. it, it's, it's so that I can do um, uh, John Belushi is Elwood. No, John Belushi. No, the is, other brother is. Yeah. Okay, Elwood is uh, uh the tall one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Him. Uh huh. Ackroyd, Dan Ackroyd. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So From I did that. Driving Miss Daisy. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. So so yeah so you know and that's the thing right when you draw a character you kind of want to see like mm, that's not bad I kind of like that idea let me try this let me try that and uh, and that's what gives you that um satisfaction of seeing that drawing and that's what i want out of the scullies there it is so now let me draw the weapon yeah so basically you take your characters and fit them in to your mold and your mold is your scully that's right yeah that's my my mold, uh huh. My template. Is it? That's it. I already got it. It's done. We just gotta draw. We just gotta dress them up, kind of like paper dolls. Remember paper dolls? And then you have the oh, clothes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The same way. The body is there, and now we that's just need is the action clothes. figures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The action figures. This was back in the day. I don't think kids know anything about paper dolls anymore. I think they do. They still exist in one way or the other. Um, uh, when it comes to things like that that are easily um, manufactured, uh, walk through the Barnes and Noble and you might find those things still. Right, right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's it. Oh, that's exactly what it is. I'll tell a friend of mine. Um, mm -hmm. She does children's books and stuff. Oh, yeah? And uh, she does, she makes her own merchandise and stuff. Um, right now, she's doing, like, tablecloths and napkins and mm -hmm. stuff with geometric mm -hmm. designs and Hmm. She does pillows with her character on it, which is uh, Sun Ray and Friends. They're, is they're, the name of uh huh. That's what it's called. That's what the yeah. brand is called. Okay. Yeah, Sun Ray okay. and Friends. Nice. And so, uh, and she was putting on classes on how to publish your own books okay kind of like tamika yeah yeah 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I took her her, uh-huh. her um book courses. Okay. I just got to finish the book. And uh and you're trying what's the book course about? Is it teaching you how to draw, it's teaching you how you, how to put together a book for publishing? What is it about? Put together a book for publishing and how easy it is to have it um copyrighted and stuff okay it's a step it's a guide uh checklist type of book that guides you through the process right through the whole process Uh uh-huh uh-huh okay you got it you got uh, some book ideas oh i already got it written (laughs) okay I didn't know that. I didn't know that about you. I didn't know you was uh you had dreams. <laughs> yeah, it's basically about um it's a human cookbook. Uh oh. Be kicking human <laughs> Like the Twilight not- Zone episode. <laughs> <laughs> You make Golden Rose jump in like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> how to cook, it's how it's to a cook. book to make you think. Oh, okay. Uh, mm-hmm. So it's not like the Twilight Zone episode. <laughs> no. No. Dang. No. Dang. How to cu- cook Dang. humans. <laughs> mm-hmm. I remember that one. They not too long ago showed that one. Oh, okay. TV, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's just a book to make you think, uh-huh. you know, so you can marinate on this. And yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And it's 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 incorporate a lot of my photography that I did. Hmm. With, You've been holding out on us. You got talent, so you ain't talking about uh, about them. <laughs> Yeah, what's up with that? Well, I told you on Discord, a lot of the people that hang out in the Discord are multi-talented. Mm-hmm. And I'm just one of them. All right, there you go. That's right. And that's what I'm claiming. I'm going to stick to it. Mm-hmm, that's right. <laughs> Welcome, Oscar. We're just hanging out in the Discord while I'm sitting here drawing. And uh, Bri is telling us about her book, uh, How to Cook Humans. And uh, and so it's to make you think. And so, like, what are some of the things that it makes you think about? About your oneself, about spiritual self, about esoteric uh, stuff, uh, uh, metaphysics, the knows universe. Everything is like this one. If a man says he knows it all he's never been married <laughs> all right if a man says he knows it all he's never been married okay yeah yeah and that's it's it like that's it like that. uh-huh so so that's just on one page and that's it you go ahead and think about that and that's done i like that yeah yeah all right all right so how many pages is your book? It's 250 of those. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That book is ready. If you got 250 of them already. Yeah. Yeah. Now I got to, um, uh, go back and type it all in because I had put it on one of those, um, Thumb drive. Mm-hmm. I don't know where the thumb drive is. Mm. Yeah. So do you, you have it printed, it but you have a print copy okay. of it? But you have I a print got a copy? Hard copy? Yeah. You do have a hard copy. Good. So then that's uh that's your your reference then, huh? Yeah. 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 There you go. And There's, written out mm-hmm. hard copy. Oh, handwritten? Okay. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say if it was typed up and printed, one of those printed copies from your from your thumb drive, that you, there's probably like a, 
um, uh, text recognition software or apps that you can use with your iPad and that will convert it into text. I just saw, they just sent me something like that on, uh, while I was watching either something on YouTube or Facebook mm -hmm. and it talked about, um, uh, it recognized your hand mm -hmm. converted into text. Yeah. And yeah. the only thing you had to do is put a little uh, triangle type error to what you wanted to translate to hard copy mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. to type. Mm -hmm. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I'm sure that stuff exists already. So instead of you sitting there typing all that out, um, you can use that. Um, there's a ton of apps out there. I'm not sure how much they cost or how good they are, but at least that's a start. That way you're just fixing typos, you know, reformatting the sentence because you change your mind about how it reads, but um, you don't have to sit there and type everything out. Uh, let's see. That's uh, Austin Scully, DTN. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Garrett says Dropbox app does that. Uh, it does the uh, 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 and does the notes app on iOS. So the notes app and Dropbox app. Dropbox app does that. So does the notes app on iOS. So there it is. There's some stuff to cool. To think about and uh, and find how that works, cause yeah, that's a great idea. I like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm thinking about another one, but to do it with my um, at my church, we had two Bible studies. We had Bible study on a Tuesday night, mm -hmm. and they had the season saint that happened at 12 noon on Wednesdays. Okay. And so um, I came up with an idea for them. I just got to get all my body parts moving in the right directions to go mm -hmm. talk to the new pastor about it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because every church nowadays needs um money that works for them mm -hmm. so you have a plan for that i have a plan all right yeah 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 as hey. who 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 is that um elizabeth warren said i got a plan elizabeth warren said what her her thing when she was running for president mm -hmm. she said they asked her a question about something, and she said, "Well, I got a plan for that." Okay. So, <laughs> I got a plan for that. Uh huh. Coo coo coo. That's right. Uh huh. So, uh, there you go. You got it. And so, you got a book for that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um. Uh. Rob also. Uh. Oh, Garrett says scan to PDF. That's another app. So there's some notes out here that you sh uh, hopefully you've been writing down or try to remember or look it up on your iPad. Um, and Rob says there are a few online OCR type converters too. I don't know how reliable oh. they are. Uh -huh. See, so, you put it out in the universe. It comes back to you folks. Folks right. answer your questions. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. This... I'm going to try yep. this. Yep. Love it. Art oh. is a team sport. Creativity is a team sport. Nobody does it by themselves. Nobody's going to draw for you. Nobody's going to write it for you. But there's definitely a community around you for it. Yes. Mm -hmm. There you go. Get on it, dog on it. All righty. <laughs> Already. Mm -hmm. I forgot the part that goes back here. Um, he has, uh, let me just save this before I switch apps. There it goes. It's uh, saving. And, uh, Is that so third man you got there. Yes. You, you got to follow <laughs> Scully series on Instagram or Twitter. 
but you're on Facebook, so you do you know my Facebook page. That's where I post yeah. all of the drawings. So Odari did this. Uh, Odari, it's uh, this is uh, what is it? What did he say his name is? Uh, from the from that Battle of the World. You heard of that Battle of the World? Uh, uh-uh, uh, he does look like Birdman from no. on on, on what? Uh, Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network. <laughs> <laughs> What what is Rose? Mm -mm. (laughs) Oh, Birdman. That's funny. (laughs) (laughs) Let me look that up, Birdman. Let me see. Oh yeah, that does look like Birdman, sorta. Uh well he got a bird. Uh, He's got but he doesn't have a helmet. He's got a mask. So this is Gatch Gatcha Man. From Battle of the Planets, G-Force. It's an old cartoon. I don't know. It might be older than you. Must be. <laughs> you don't remember and Battle of... It was just a pebble. <laughs> Battle of the Planets. This is the character that was voiced by, by Casey Kasem. You remember Casey Kasem? Oh, I remember this now. Nineteen seventy-eight. Yes. yes, I remember oh. that. Battle of the Planets, and there was another name for it. I forget. Original Gacha Man episodes eighty-five were used in Battle of the Planets adaptation, and so, uh, so yeah, Odari did that. Garrett says Battle of the Planets. Odari is the master of taking us back to the eighties for classic cartoons. Yes, right. <laughs> oh man. I wear only a wee nipper, age 10, says Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> In 78, I was six. Oh, man. There you go. Uh, Gareth. Brag, brag, brag. Uh, brag, brag. Oh, you're so crazy. Um, Gareth says, I use the notes app to scan my handwritten scrawl of lecture notes. And does it turn it into uh, words, into text? That's the key. Thanks for the I uh for the um Oh the iPad um has scribbles where you write stuff and you um it it you know changes it to type. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, uh, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you don't even have to type it, you can just write it all over again. <gasps> oh my god. And you have the Apple Pencil, right? Yes. We need to go. I need to go hang out at your house. Let's go draw. Yep. Yep. Smoke a cigar and draw. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's a great idea. Um, uh, there it is. Us, uh, you know, all in mm-hmm. Going to some, one of the. Um, one of the restaurants or something and let them put what we doing up on the screen. Okay. You know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One day they're going to open the Apple store and allow us to do classes there. That's definitely going to be a thing. Yeah. Well, we can, they, they got a big, big screen inside the Apple store at the uh, Linux mall. Yeah. 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 That's a great idea. Um, uh, so there you go. Try, uh, that's some, some, some great suggestions to get you back into writing down those notes, but now digitizing them. Mm, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. um, I had a, um, Casio little mini pad thing mm-hmm. and you oh. could write on it and it mm-hmm. converted your handwriting into mm-hmm. text. Nice. There you go. I like that. That's a good I idea. I dog ate it. I dog ate it. <laughs> A dog chewed it up. <laughs> I still have one. I still have a, a little de- old devices like that. I just keep them for the fun of it. They don't turn on anymore. Uh, Rob says the Voltron was awesome. Love the crest on the chest. Yes, Odari drew this. And uh, there's yeah. the crest. That boy. That boy got deep. Like, look how clean these lines are. Uh, Odari is crazy. He sat here and drew this whole thing up. 
It's right here. It's all in one layer. Let me see. Oh, he put all, he, the scully is stuck in there. There's a body back there. And uh, but there it is. It's got the blue. What what is that blue for? The 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 jewel in the middle of the face. And then there goes more parts. And uh, there goes the red. Uh huh. That boy went nuts. Oh, Dari. So can somebody name the character that was on? Um... Oh, darn. It's not Voltron. Um, Thundercats. So he is working on those. He asked me oh. if I was doing Lionel. Uh, or, um, uh, Mamra. And I said, nah, I haven't, I got a long list. I ain't got time to, you know, keep drawing to, to add more to my list. Uh, like to, to draw any new ideas right now. I got a long list that I got to work on. And so he said he's on it. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. He's already, he's already. He's, he's having more. fun. When, when mm -hmm. he draws, he's actually having, he tunes out everything goes on. Mm-hmm. Yep. He's enjoying the scullies. Yes. Yeah. That's the idea. And that's the idea behind art. You know, you want to do art that you enjoy. Uh, Rob says those names, those are names I haven't heard in a minute. <laughs> There's a new, I, I thought that was like a comic, uh, animation not too long ago. And, um, maybe less than 10 years ago. I can't remember now. It's been a while. Uh, thank you, Gareth Williams. Yes, notes app only takes a picture. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we we want a uh, uh, easy way of turning in uh, scribbled notes. I don't know how good your handwriting looks, uh, Bree, but uh, that's what we want. We want an app that can turn those scribbles. You know what? I, just... I was a, a civil engineer, so... so so your handwriting is terrible. No, no, it's excellent. <laughs> It's excellent. <laughs> it's okay. Excellent. Okay. 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 That's cool. When they needed something really fancy, they come to me. Oh. So you're like Tamika. That was before we had computers. Uh huh. Before there was computers. So you're like Tamika. Tamika's a civil engineer. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, we just talked about it. Put the other day oh, okay yeah yeah i thought yeah. it was cool mm-hmm yeah that's super cool all right so there you go um that is a uh so that so there's some options and uh yeah the better looking your handwriting is the better the outcome of the um of the uh, transformation of the text to the the handwriting to text i don't know i just made that up who knows who knows it might still be bad all right so there it is i got the little hair uh the little tie it's kind of big but i'm okay with it make it dramatic i was almost done with this drawing till i had to draw that uh, yeah sometimes you think you're done and you're not you're not there's parts missing boom but remember i asked the question is when is your art really done? Because mm -hmm. even if you pass, it can be sitting on your wall and you'll see something and say, oh, I need to touch that up right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you, you'll see something. It'll catch your eye and be like, oh, how did I miss this? You know, how how is that? Uh, or, or you get a better idea of it later, which is one of the reasons why I go slow with a, some, some art pieces or I, uh, projects. It's like uh, I you get the idea, but you don't move on it fast. You kind of marinate, think it through, and uh, and let it let it roll around in your head, uh, days, weeks, months, and eventually, like, oh, I got it, I got it. You'll be in the shower, and it's like, oh, yep. it just came to me. Yep, uh, right. I get a lot of ideas when I'm dra driving, when I'm out driving, headed somewhere, my mind just wanders and like, oh. I got it. Yep. And so I kind of rely on my creativity for some of those things. Cause sometimes 
sometimes you also don't know um, how to solve a problem. You're like, you're thinking about it. You're looking at it, thinking, thinking, thinking. And you're like, it's not coming to me right now. So let me wait one day before the deadline. And I'll bet you it'll come to me then. <laughs> That's so true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. one of the things I miss about the computers at work is that I had two screens. Mm-hmm. And if I came to work early, I'd have four computers up and working from computer to pu- computer because the, the juices were flowing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you go. So you understand me when I do... When I, when I look at my desk, I have one, two, three computers right here in one desk. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And when one is working, one doing one thing, the other one's working, doing something else. That's they're true. working. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, unless you got like a supercomputer that can do 10 things at the same time and do them fast. Um, but that's, that's still an option too. Gareth Williams says scan guru OCR document scanner takes a picture then turns it into editable text. All right. There's a, a oh, few. Uh, too. Yeah. Scan guru OCR scan and guru, guru OCR. OCR. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And OCR stands for something about text and it's an iOS app. So it's an app that runs on your iPad. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everybody. Yay, yay. All right. We're almost done. Let's go ahead and add another layer, duplicate layer. Let's duplicate this layer, too. And uh, we're going to multiply, turn down the opacity. Because what I like to do is I like to, I don't want the lines to be black, but I don't want them to be purple. I want them kind of a little darker. So there it is. And then this is going to also multiply. And so now you see that the, the, that the tie, the, the, what do you call, what do you call those, the strings or whatever coming off the back of his neck, um, streamers. dark, the what streamers, the streamers. That's what okay, it looks this. like. Streamers. That's right. That's stream- <laughs> Good night, Rob. Good night. Optical character recognitions. There you go. Gary. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, Rob. See you next time. No, uh, uh, catch you later. Uh, thank you for all the suggestions. So the streamers. So now I got the streamers and let's go ahead and get the eraser. And so I can, oops, let go like that, like that. So I can go like this. Mm-hmm. Bam. And the only reason I call them streamers instead of ribbons, because he's a boy. He's a boy. <laughs> yes, there you go. He's a boy. They have a woman, Grendel, also. And she's supposed to be like wow. the granddaughter of Grendel. Yeah, oh, you so know she's bad, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the, the Grendel name lived on. A whole kingdom of Grendels uh, during Grendel Prime. So it's a great story. Uh, I hope they do justice uh, for when they do live action. Uh, I don't know if that that article I saw was about live action or what. But they had picked an actor to play Grendel. And there's a great quote in one of the Grendel um, comics. And uh, it stuck with me ever since. And it says something like... Um, Luck, it's only luck when opportunity, what is it, uh, being ready. When something about being ready is, uh, is married to opportunity, and that's what we call luck. So that the reality is that luck doesn't exist. It's really about you being ready for that opportunity. So it sounded really cool. You know, it, was, it sounded cold. When I, when I read it, I was like, dang. Okay. Go back closer where you were. You mm-hmm. got a little ditty. Maybe that's on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> there, 
Let me do it like uh, I'm a girl on Saturday Night Live, you say. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah the, right. um, it's all good. It's all good. So I, I'm going to remember that uh, that quote because it was really, really clean the way they that he said this thing. And uh, in the comic, and uh, and I was like, dang, you know, sometimes we find wisdom in the weirdest places, and they they touch you, and you're like, uh, that makes sense, and you look at life a whole nother way. It's crazy. There we go. I had a um, teacher in high school, or what would be considered middle school now it was only eighth grade mm -hmm. um the teacher if if the guys didn't like to read she would get oh, what was the name of those those um comic books they taught you history in those comic books hmm. and she would get the guys to read the comic books Books and do a report on the comic books. Okay. Which was more enticing. Mm -hmm. It was put out by DC Comics, I think it was, because it was the cheaper type people. Mm. Like pulp, pulp uh, comics or something? Uh, like a, a pulp yeah. paper. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, it, it was the kind that. If you actually drew on it with an ink pen, it would bleed. Yeah, yeah. So newspaper print. Uh huh. All right. But um, that's what I encourage uh, people to do: find something that the kid enjoys. In a comic book form. If you mm -hmm. have to read it before they get it, then you mm -hmm. do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I was thinking about, when you were saying all that, I was thinking about, um, what do you call those? Um, uh, cliff notes. Back in the day, they had, yeah. which, you know, the cliff notes. Uh-huh. Those could get you in trouble, though. <laughs> Why? Why? You got to read. You got to read what you're supposed to read. <laughs> you use it as a guide to find what you need. Mm -hmm. Not just you. Mm -mm. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, but so anyway, that was a short way of, uh, uh, of uh, getting the story without reading the whole book. Oh darn! Watch the movie, or watch the movie. <laughs> they, they, I guess there was movies for most things back in the day. There goes my yeah, fresco. Yeah, movie mm -hmm. about everything. Yeah, yeah. I got a Adobe Fresco open right now on my computer. I uh, I also need to check my Creative Cloud. I think there's some updates. Ooh, got some updates. Any case, I'm um, waiting for the Fresco to update. There it goes. There's the Scullies. Now I can open Fresco on my PC. One thing I like about Fresco or any Creative Cloud app, and I understand that some people really hate uh, the subscription, um, uh, the subscription method of uh, Adobe and Create and uh, Creative Cloud, but this is it. Like I was just drawing this on my iPad. Now I open it on my computer. And then I can say, okay, up in the top right, I'm gonna click on it and say send to Illustrator. And it's gonna export from Fresco to Illustrator. And it's gonna open on my Illustrator uh, program here. And there it is. Illustrator just popped open. It's opening on this other screen because that's the main screen. And there it goes. Bam. And so, and so. So we, you say, boom. There your, it is. your skull is to the Creative Cloud. And yeah. what else? Well, it it uh, it moves from one. It's number one. It's saved in the cloud. But two, it moves from one program to another, 
with the creative cloud so there it is this is fresco on one side Let's see if i can no it mm -hmm. won't make it smaller uh so there's there it is there it is that's uh fresco on the left hand side if i can just get it to to center there it is let's click it on it again boom 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 and on the right side i have adobe illustrator and the way they talk to each other is through the creative cloud boom and so so when you get your creative cloud account you get like a certain amount of um data that you can back up to the cloud and so uh, with Fresco, it's automatically saved to the cloud. There's a copy on your on your device, but uh, it's always in sync with what's happening in the cloud. And uh, and so I'm able okay. to move this file, to the uh, the Scully from Fresco to Illustrator, and it's the same design. And in the, in Illustrator, it's a vector file. And what's important about that is that now you can scale this artwork as big as you want. And uh, it still looks crispy and sharp, nice and clean. And that's what we want because I have a lot of ideas about what I want to do with um, the Scullies, but uh, I'm not ready to move on them. But let's say later on I decide that, yes, we're going to make, uh, or, you know, somebody throws money at us and say, put those these Scullies on billboards across the country. All right. Well, now I have the file that will print large and still look clean and sharp. Because if you've done any printing of any artwork before and you'll realize that the pixel art or even a photo that you take with your phone has a limit on how big you can make it before you start seeing pixelation. And so I don't want right. my artwork to be pixelated. Mm -hmm. And there it is. So there it goes. That goes from Fresco to Illustrator. Now that I'm in Illustrator, I have more control over what I can do to this artwork and they go all my layers. Everything is right there. So for right now, I'm just going to save this and, uh, and I'm going to call it row. Oh, I forgot the rows. There's supposed to be a rose. I knew it. I knew there was something. So forget it. We're going back. <laughs> We're going back. Dang. All right. There you go. You almost think you're done. You almost think you're done. All right, let's do this. See, talking to Scully's were the neatest idea of an Oh yeah, you like it? Y'all need to come join the Black Book project. Yeah, yeah, I need to join the Black Book project. We're still doing artwork for it. It's still happening. We're not done. All right, let's draw a rose. Oh yeah, we should get a golden rose to draw a rose. Every rose has a storm. Uh, Garrett says, also Adobe Scan. There's a lot of apps that will turn your uh, manuscript into words, man. Things are progressing um, quickly, but not fast. Uh huh. Right, right, right. Yeah, we haven't made moves. it to the George Jetson era yet. Oh, I still don't it? have my car that folds up, <laughs> my flying car that folds up and goes into your suitcase. Into <laughs> yeah, I still don't have rosy feet. You could, you could, you could have. I think uh, they, they, I was they, thinking they, about going back to school and go, uh, going to take uh, some electrical engineering. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, so that you can build some robots. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Do it. I was. I, think uh, I told you before. Build his own high. Say that again. My father built his own, what was called a hi-fi. A hi-fi? Oh, he built a hi-fi mm -hmm. system? Uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh-huh, uh-huh. I know what a hi-fi is. He built is. the cabinet to go for it to go in and stuff. Uh-huh. Wooden cabinet, big speakers. Okay. It also had a turntable. 
Mm -hmm. Flip up the cabinet inside with one of them long rods in the middle. Mm -hmm. And uh, he used um, the vacuum tubes. Wow. Oh, he yeah, he was really old school with it. Right. Mm-hmm. Nice. I built a metronome for a science project. Okay. They wouldn't um they wouldn't let it go in because they said, Oh, it's too advanced for you. Hmm. I did it. Hmm. Good old pre. Got the skills to pay the bills. <sighs> That was a bad <laughs> corner that I was on, though. That, that was a <laughs> Oh, man. Let's do another layer there. Oh, I know what to do. Well, I mean, uh, that's super cool. You followed your path. That's how my wife is. Uh, she is an electrical engineer. Computer engineer. I don't oh, know what kind of engineer. She's an engineer of some kind dealing with uh, electronics and she built um, uh, she built and co uh, coded um, street lights and uh, elevators from scratch. That's what she had to do. Part of her her education. Don't know much about oh, it. Cause, so yeah, yeah. She, she tells me stuff and I forget like okay that was cool but I, I don't I don't know I don't know I don't know all that technical stuff I can draw and uh, and so now she does uh, a lot of coding uh, computer coding that's what she, that's what she does mm -hmm. so engineers are cool people I don't understand it <laughs> yeah I like it. I, I just don't know. She tells me things like, yeah, you know, I hear you saying words. And uh, I've been to coding classes with her for fun. <sighs> Yo, after a while. And then the buttercup steam. I do the buttercup steam. And, uh, you know, and so as long as there are instructions somewhere, I can follow it. But don't ask me to remember any of it. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I'm just here to keep the peace and bring pizza. See, I back in the day, I took the basics and Cobalt and Pascal. Mm. And those are um, languages. Yeah, computer languages back in the day. Mm -hmm. And Fortran. I did a Fortran, too. Mm -hmm. And... Um, when I found out I didn't like to do the what they call coding now, mm -hmm. it's when you have to type all that stuff in. Mm. And I use the seek and destroy method on the keyboard. Mm -hmm. Three fingers, three <laughs> fingers on the other. Mm -hmm. S A now, where that other letter is, <laughs> if you are a rap type of that, you could you can do that coding and stuff. Mm -hmm. Other yeah. than that, it took me about a week to put in, um, uh, to do a cannon shooting fireworks out of it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, we're not going to, we're not, no, the same yeah. something I want to do. Mm -hmm. You don't want, you don't want to shoot uh, bullets out of a cannon or you don't want to sit there and try to code it? Code it. <laughs> okay. Type it in all of <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in Goodwill Hunting, he didn't want to find missiles. He didn't want to, he didn't want to code missiles. Um, right. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and that's it, you know, it's like uh, nowadays you don't have to write the code to everything because a lot of it is, 
you know, you take pieces from here, take pieces from there, yeah, and so on, you know. Yeah, but it's still, it's still, you got to know how to read it, how to understand it. And I understand what you're trying to do. I just, uh, I'm looking at all those words. I don't even like to write regular English. And now you find out that the kindergartners of learning coding or yep. a mm -hmm. think is. process. That's right. Yes, yes. Because it helps, um, yes, that the thought process, uh huh. Yep, let's save it. Yep, deductive reasoning. There we go. All right, okay, I think we got it this doing, time. Go ahead. I was doing tutoring mm -hmm. at my church, um, but the kids that we were tutoring, they didn't need tutor, these were gifted kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mm -hmm. um I came up with something to make them think as opposed to trying to regurgitate what the teacher taught them because what the teacher is teaching them unless you know the new and other bits and pieces that they're doing nowadays. Mm-hmm you had to come up with something else. Well, you had to come so up with I something that's going to challenge. Uh -huh. To challenge their mind that they yep. had to. Uh, I told them that they were the king or queen or whatever, president or founding member of a, of a land. And, mm -hmm. But you had to come up with what necessities that did you need to maintain just to start off your land? Where did you want to put your castle? Did, mm. Is it going to be on a mountain? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If it's on the mountain, where do they get the water from? You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or if it's going to be by the ocean. Right. Well, right. With what's happening now, is it safe to be there? Mm-hmm. How solid is, this, is the the terrain? Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Real life stuff. Are That's real life situations. Or gatherers, or are you gonna be tradesmen? Uh huh. So they got to draw their own maps, you know, of their land, uh -huh. and come up with what natural resources that they need to maintain their people. Or mm -hmm. keep their people happy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. That's good. It's still, and it's still thinking, you know, still thinking. That I like. I right. like to think. I like thinking. And, uh, uh, yeah, I like practical things like that. Yep. Very cool. And, and I also encourage them, they'll sit there and get that dummified look. And I said, you got a phone? Yeah. Google it. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. That we have access to so much info nowadays. All right. Yeah, that's right. So you got to go look for it. All right. So. I'm done with this piece. Let's go ahead and save it. And I don't name the characters who they are. I give them a name that's related to the words and whoever. That way, uh, I don't, even, you know, it's not directly touching on the copyrights of others. So there we go. Put the art, click on the artboard, make it a JPEG. And so right now, this is what I do with all my scullies. And you see some of that already right here is that I bring it into Illustrator. I uh, save it as an Illustrator file. And then I go ahead and, and uh, export a high res JPEG so that when I'm uh, so that I can look at my scullies like this. So I have an Illustrator file, a JPEG file, Illustrator JPEG, Illustrator JPEG, and so on. And so this is the third. Uh, series of 24 
Here's the first, uh, the second series of 24. So there's 48, five, uh, it says 50. Why does it say 50? Because, oh, because uh, uh, Vader is uh, doubled up. I need to delete one of them. Because yeah, uh, I did Vader with, uh, with the Scully eyes. And then I did Vader with the uh, regular uh, helmet eyes. Look at that. Bah, 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 bah. Uh, anyway, so that's uh, the second series of 24. And then the first 24 series right here. So total of 48 files. One file is the Illustrator file. The other file is the JPEG. And there goes uh, Tupac. And boom. Dan, and can I make a suggestion on your um, Dark Vader? Yeah, what you want to tell me about Dark Vader? You ought to do the big helmet one, like in the movie Spaceballs. Uh, Spaceballs? Spaceballs, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's balls. Oh, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> this is a family-friendly uh, stream. <laughs> Not yeah, like that. I got you. That's, uh, Basketball, yeah. Basketball, football. I got you. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that was a, it's a funny movie. I still like that movie to this day. There's the Scully series. But it wouldn't uh, take much to change his helmet since you said you did it in, uh, Vector, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I have, uh, different, uh, uh, layers for different parts of the, of the body of the helmet and so on. And so I just have to go in into Illustrator and make adjustments, but I can't just increase the size because that's also going to increase the thickness of the lines. And so, ah. I can, yeah, so I have, so I can increase the size so I can have a template for it, but I have to redraw some elements so that, um, uh, it has that consistent look through all of the different scullies and there's, uh, there they are first 24, kind of like that, that TV show first 24. <laughs> Yeah. And then uh, the next 24, the second 24. And then uh, and then this is the collab series so far. Uh, I got to add a couple more that Eldari has done. This is by Artist 53. And this one's by Artist 53. That's supposed to be somebody named Vegeta. Vegeta uh, I forget the... Vegeta. Yeah, I think so. Is that right? Do you know about uh, yeah. Dragon Ball Z? Oh yeah, I love Jack Dragon Ball Z. Mhm. Mm yeah. I have to look it up. I have to look it up and uh, cause they sent it to me. Somebody told me about it, but yeah, that's it. Uh, it's uh, it's, so there's a bunch of cool uh characters, um, that uh that we're creating here, you know, and and they're all about bringing back a memory, something like uh. Like, uh, who said that before? Uh, Rob said, Oh, uh, those are names I have not heard in a minute, kind of like, uh, um, in, in Star Wars, it said, I haven't heard, I haven't heard that name, uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, you know, that's so that's awesome. So, there's, there's a few uh characters. Oh, I'm missing this one. Let me see, Daredevil, yes, I'm missing Daredevil. I gotta, add, I gotta update a few of these into the into the project on Behance. So there it is. I want to tell you guys about, uh, I'm going to be on Behance live, uh, in the morning, uh, on Monday and Tuesday, the 27th and the 28th. So if you're on the East coast, it's going to be in the middle of the day. If you're on the West coast, it is in the morning, 9 30 AM West coast time. And uh, so look forward to that. We're going to be talking about Fresco and Illustrator. So those are my favorite things that I like to talk about. Uh, so that's why what's happening. Uh, not next week. I don't even know what week are we on. Where, where, where are we living? Where are we living? Uh, oh, yeah. Next week is the, the Scully. So it's the week after that. Yeah, 27 and 28. So that's when I'm live. But next week, a week from now, so next week's um, live stream on Wednesday is going to be strictly about the Scullies, nothing else, just Scullies. And I'm probably going to go live early in that day um, so that I can uh, talk about that one Scully. If you want to talk about NFTs, let me know. Monday, I'm going to be live in the middle of the day talking about the NFT. And, uh, and then I'll go live with Sketchable 
Tuesday is for the subscription. If you are a subscriber, you will get, uh, you get access to a lot of vector education and files that I'm working on. So check that out. So yeah, that's uh, what's coming up. Don't forget tomorrow, Tamika, the artist. I saw her post it. Let me go look. And uh, she posted that she is going to be a, every week is something different. And so tomorrow figure drawing is uh, about, let me, sh let me tell you, there it is. It says uh, figure drawing a uh, mashup. It's a mashup of humans and animals. What the? What the? Oh, Good cool. night. Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so it's going to be a, a humanoids and hybrid mashup of humans and animals. It should be really interesting. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's tomorrow, uh, Thursday, September 16th at 7 p.m. So that's tomorrow at 7 p.m. Uh, Garrett, any idea of the title and the schedule? Are we talking about, uh, good night, Golden Rose. Thank you for stopping through. Appreciate you. Appreciate your comments, uh, and, uh, input every time. Thank you for stopping through. Uh, Garrett, any idea of the title and the schedule? Are we talking about the Adobe live? It's going to be vector art. I'm not sure the title yet. Uh, I will know something about that early or middle next week and I will start pumping it out. I just want to give you guys an update on it. All right. All right. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, that's, uh, some exciting things coming up. So stay tuned for more. Thank you for being here tonight. I appreciate it. Big ups to, um, Oscar Barrales. Bray Golden Rose hanging out with me in the Discord, and of course on the Behance we had Gareth Golden Rose Rob, and let's see, and uh, Bree didn't say nothing in the in the in the Behance. Uh, let's see, Ali Gareth, enjoy that new iPad, man. I like a new device. Even if I already have a device, I still like new devices. It's something about opening up a device brand new in the box and then uh, downloading your favorite programs. It's crazy. It's crazy. I like it. I like it. Uh, you're very welcome. Uh, I thought you were talking about Max. Okay. Cuckoo. Oh, Adobe Max. Yes. No, no, no. It's just Adobe Live. Adobe Max is in October. And uh, I don't have any sessions at Adobe Max, not this time. But that's why they're giving me some Adobe Live, which is cool. It's cool for me. I'm cool with it. It's all right. It's all right. I'm still going to go live during Adobe Max. It may, I'm going to be the unofficial fresco and illustrator on the iPad stream. I already know what I'm going to talk about because I already know what updates are coming. So, yeah, let's, let's get ready for that. <laughs> And Deep Patel cool. is asking, how do you not procrastinate? I'm procrastinating right now. <laughs> you, um, no, there's some days when you go hard. You just go all in. I've been up real early today. Been uh, in front of the camera all day, starting from uh, some corporate videos that I was doing this morning to talking to Adobe Live by the middle of the day and then going live here and uh, twice. And so not every day is the same. Some days are relaxing perspective and motion. That's right. It's, uh, tomorrow I'm getting up whenever I feel like it or until my first meeting of the day. And, uh, I do have some artwork to finish and touch on, but, uh, I draw even when I sit around in the couch, my wife and I, we're probably going to watch some movie tonight. There's a series we started watching. It's called, um, Oh, it's a British series. Uh, it's about a detective lady taking over a homicide unit. Uh, if y'all ask me about it, I'll send you a text with it, uh, with the title. In any case, we started watching it. It's pretty good. It's from the 90s. And, uh, and so when we're sitting there watching uh, some TV, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, I'll be drawing. I'll have my iPad. I have Is another iPad. Fun? Is that the one with four, four or five old guys? You know, it's the, under her. Yes, yes, and they're all um, dudes. And uh, what is that movie with um, Bruce Willis? And he's uh, he's like a retired 
CIA guy. Let me see something about That's red. Rose. Um, red. Uh, uh, red. Red. And so the lady from that movie, Helen, Helen Mirren, she's in this show. It's in this, and she's the main detective. She's in charge. Oh, okay. So, so all the men are, are, are mean to her. Oh, bastards. Uh, so <laughs> her, yeah, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy. So what is the name of it? I'll tell you in a second. I'm going to see it. I already pulled it up, uh, pulled up our, her, her whole, um, list of films. I like the in. British detective shows. They're cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so her name is Helen Mirren. I'm just going through her filmography. Anyways, the point is that I'll find it in a second and tell it to you. The point is that, uh, yes, that, uh, you know, it's not that I don't procrastinate or do procrastinate is that you try to find that, um, the time to, uh, relax the time to work, the time to relax and work the time, um, uh, prime suspect is called prime suspect. Um, that's okay. the name of the series and, uh, it's in on Hulu. I think prime suspect. Gary said it. Gary said it. No idea. Didn't watch the TV in the nineties. <laughs> Prime Suspect, you're right, Garrett. You got it. You had put it up there before I even looked because I was still looking for it. Um, but it's, so it's not that. So so there are some times that, uh, like today, I was supposed to ride bicycles with my grandson. He was here all day, but I was out busy. By the time I got back, um, I had to go live. But even if I was going to be late to go live, I was going to ride bikes with him, but it was raining. So I didn't get to uh, hang, uh, hang out outside, but I hung out with him for a little bit. And, uh, and then that's what you do. You, you're trying to find those times when you can still have family time. You still have relaxing time, but, uh, you know, but you, you try to invest your time wisely so that you can get the projects done that you want to get done. And, and I say that knowing that I have projects that I have abandoned that I need to create, uh, produce. Because um, uh, I still feel very strongly about them, and I'm and uh and it makes a commitment. So you know, there is no easy way to go about it, and there's no um uh and it, and, and there's always going to be something that you leave behind that you're going to have to go back and um and make adjustments to and produce and and have it out there in the world. So yeah, it's uh I don't pro it's not that I don't procrastinate. It's that you got to invest your time manage your time and what's crazy is that in the next month we're moving so i have to pack up this whole office pack up, i have two two rooms in this house i have to pack up the room behind me that's my other outside part of my office and then move it and set up at a whole nother house and a bigger room my, my office is going to be bigger and wire the house for internet and uh and so it's like uh, the life does not stop, but you have to find your happy medium and find the schedule that works for you. So there you go. All right, everybody. Thank you for hanging out. If you guys are in the uh, Discord, I'll answer a couple questions before we're done tonight. I appreciate your time. And uh, stay tuned for more Scullies, man. They're coming. Woo, woo, woo. Look at that big old Scully. I like. I <laughs> you did good, man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank good you. <laughs> Everybody have a good night. Talk to y'all later. Peace out.